Welcome to the course on the Cordic Algorithm. Cordic stands for Coordinate Rotation Digital Computer. Now from the name of the algorithm, it does sound quite old. It was originally thought up in 1956 by someone called Jack E. Volder. Now there were versions of this same algorithm kicking about for a couple of hundred years, but he was the person who took it into what was then just the start of the digital age. Now the modern form of this algorithm was generated in order to replace an old navigation system in a B-58 bomber with a new digital version. Now we're not going to use it for that obviously. We're going to use it in order to approximate or generate some very common mathematical functions. So for example, if we wanted to generate a simple sine function, then we have to have some quick and easy and simple method of doing this on a computer. Now the quartic algorithm is one possible method. We're going to look at a whole load of common functions, for example, the trigonometric functions, the sine, cos and tan and their inverses, and also the hyperbolic functions as well, so sine, cos, tan and their inverses, and also the reciprocals of all of those. We will also be looking at other processes that can be approximated using the quartic algorithm, for example, multiplication and division. Now, the idea behind this course is that we're going to take all of this knowledge that we have gained in order to generate something in the next course that we're going to call a math coprocessor. So we'll take all of our algorithms that we've learned in this course and then we'll connect those algorithms onto a floating point unit. And when both of those items come together, we will have generated a math coprocessor. But that's something for the next course. First of all, we're going to understand all of the mathematics, or as much as we can, about the Cordic algorithm. Now, all the way through the course, I'm going to use an online graphical calculator, which is free, called Desmos. And I've generated the simulations that we require in that tool. So you will be able to download those and give the simulations a go by yourself. Now, if you get stuck at all and you're not sure of anything, then just get in contact and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So good luck with the course and if you need anything, just give me a shout. Goodbye.